Well, he doesn't seem mad, so that's that's a good thing. For today's video, I'm gonna do something a little different. Uh, there will be no food. Well, it's a Megan Murray video, so there could be food in it. Um, but today's video is gonna be basically me showing you a little RV tour, mainly because it is now fall and I bought a few new things for the RV, so I figured it might be fun to just show how to do a little bit of holiday decoration um, in a small space. Uh, and with doing that, I'm gonna do an RV tour. Um, and then today is also a really great day because Sean is coming home. He has been away for about two weeks now for work. So that'll be exciting. Just gonna do a fun laid back video and hopefully share some fun things that you might be able to take away from it along the way. So with that said, let's get into the video. Okay, so there's the entrance. This is the laundry room. These are two bathrooms. Then we have our cars, motorcycles, we have some chairs that we and a big mat that we have here, but the weather's been bad, so we put it away. Here, so you can get a shot of the whole thing. All right, so. Well, folks, as I was recording outside of the house, I went to go back in and the freaking RV is locked. Locked myself out, don't know how. So anyway, I've been trying to pick a lock with my neighbor and Ken the camp host for the last 45 minutes and there's no luck. And my neighbor let me borrow her car so I can pick Sean up because he just landed from his trip and still locked out of the house. So these are just chronicles of Megan Murray. Let's be real, so we'll see how upset Sean is. But you know, there's really nothing I could do. So anyway, stay tuned. There's my cutie. How long you been locked out for? About an hour now. Uh, let's see if I can come up with something or for call a locksmith. Well, he doesn't seem mad, so that's that's a good thing. Locksmiths are just so expensive, they're like a hundred bucks. I'm telling all I did, I, I, I went outside filming the outside of the RV, mm -hmm. and then I go to go back inside and it's just locked. Really? Yes. Huh. So the only thing I can think of is, as I it, like slammed it, something in there must have just locked. Okay. Stupid majiggers. Hi. Hello. I had like much nicer plans for picking you up. <laughs> Sky in there? Yes. <laughs> Everything is in there. I think one of the windows, I'm gonna check them. Ken checked all the windows for me. Yeah. And he's tried multiple keys. Like we've tried so many things. I, I And then he's like, well, you could always break a window. It might be a little expensive though. I'm like, uh, yeah, I'd like to not try to break a window. Mm hmm So the car keys and everything are in there, huh? Mm -hmm. Um, yes, everything is in there. Mm. Everything, even my phone. That's why, man, I felt very helpless not even having a phone. Hi, Sky. Sky, it would be nice if Sky could let us in. out of my RV and I was wondering if you guys do uh, if you guys can get into RVs as well. Uh, it's a fifth wheel. Well we're on the way to escort the locksmith. So couldn't get in. We tried all the windows, we tried different RV keys, um, and we tried picking it and nothing's working so Thank goodness, Fuzia is letting us use her car. Just, we have the best neighbors, so hopefully the locksmith will get us in real easily and we can just move on with the video <laughs> and the night.
Five minutes later. Cozy daddy. Cozy. Oh, she's like, who's this? Look how I put the guy. Come here, <laughs> got into the RV as you can see uh, I took the locksmith about five minutes but you know what it was it was honestly it was worth a hundred dollars okay because we got we rescued sky sky we got in the house well, um, before it got too too cold I made it in the house just in time for my best friend to be able to call me and tell me she got engaged I knew it was going down and my phone was stuck in here and I was afraid I was gonna miss it but literally as soon as we got in um, I had access to my phone. this whole time I didn't have my phone so anyway, crisis averted. We are starving. What a what a <laughs> what a way for Sean to come home. But um, he wasn't mad, so I'm grateful for that. So we're gonna go pick up some food. We ordered some Thai and some pizza. You getting some Thai, Sky? <laughs> this is Italian pizza. Mm. Oh, baby. Um, and we're just gonna enjoy our evening together and then I'll probably do a tour tomorrow because at this point it is about six o'clock and uh, we wanna eat and we wanna enjoy our night. So we'll try this tour again tomorrow. Welcome to my crib. Close guy. Close guy. No, put those away. What away? Your shoulders. It's supposed to be like that, babe. I'm gonna give you guys a tour of our RV. Let's get into the living room. You will see my favorite part of the house, which is the kitchen. I didn't prepare to do a fridge tour, so what you see is what you get, but we have a pretty big size fridge. Look at that thing. Lots of bagels and bread, leftovers. We've got a freezer, I'm not showing you that because it is very unorganized. I shouldn't even be showing you the pantry, but look at this massive pantry. Stop with all the goods. I really have a lot of organizing to do, so sorry for all of you who are OCD. I know it looks bad, but I had to just show off my big ass pantry. And then we have here the island. We don't have a dishwasher, so we do have to hand wash all our dishes. Here's our trash can. Here's our TV and our fireplace. Yes, it gives off real heat. We don't have it on right now because it's kind of toasty. Um, if you look over here. So I bought this little pumpkin at Marshall's. I also bought these lamps at, you see the Marshall's at TJ Maxx and I believe they're only $30. Also got this cute little white pumpkin. Uh, it's like a wood pumpkin. And that little lamp I also got at Marshall's. And then I also got these pillows and this blanket at uh, Marshall's. I believe the pillows were $20 each and then the, the blanket was, I believe, 30. So individually, I think they're all very good prices and it just looks very cozy. I got these candles. It's nothing fabulous. I just took off the sticker though and it's a normal candle, it smells so good. This is from Walmart. And then something cool about these chairs is you can pull out, pull out the, what do you call this, reclining thingy? Pull out the reclining thing, and if you look here, thing you can vibrate, so it's vibrating. You can turn on a blue light, and then you can turn on the heat. And uh, this is pretty much where Sean and I spend most of our time. It's very cozy, I could take a little nap. And then if you come over here, this is where I eat, and currently where I work. I work remotely right now, um, and so I do do all my, do do, I do, do all of my work right here um but what i plan to do is what we want to do is take this couch out and put a desk here that way i have more of an office and i'm not doing all of my work out on the kitchen table uh, this does pull up to a bed so does the other one in the other living room which is awesome i brought my mirror because i needed a good mirror uh, and then we have our laundry there, and if you come this way, I did buy some extra drawers here to keep more office supplies because we use that as uh, clothes. The, that's where Sean's work uniforms are, and then we have clothes there, 
that's some of his study stuff. You can mount a TV up there and there's some extra plugs. We have our printer. So yeah, this is basically our office room and then where we keep our laundry stuff and Sean's office stuff. Now if you'll come this way, you'll see we have a, this is basically our attic, um, but you can, the kids can sleep up here. There's a little mat right here. There's a very nice fuzzy foam mat, but we kind of use this as storage, which is great for us. If you come this way, you will see our bathroom. We've got a great size shower, um, some ceiling light, and lots of storage in there to keep all of our toiletries and toilet paper and towels and anything else that we need. Um, yeah, then if you come this way, this is the master bedroom. I gotta do the jump on the bed. <laughs> this is a big, this is the biggest bed I think we've ever had. Um, it's very cozy. We did get an extra um, foam like topper, uh, but it's so cozy in there. And then we have, you know those mirrors that you, that are at like a fun house? That's how it makes me feel when I look at it, so I had to get a different one. But it's nice that there's a mirror in here. Um, we got a big closet. Again, it's not organized, so I'm not gonna show you, but it's big. Um, pretty much mostly full of my things, but it is what it is. And then it's also nice we have little like reading lights. So if we want, we can turn those on. Um, we have two air conditioners. One is here and one's in the living room. We have more uh, like cabinet door space. That's our dresser, our TV. Um, and then Sky, Sky loves this spot right in here. Right, Sky Sky. <laughs> That's where she sleeps. So, yeah, is there anything else that we should point out, Sean? No, I would just take B roll on top of this, and you're not in all the shots. I completely agree. Oh. That's where Sky's dog bowl is. That's also, this is Sky's second favorite spot, right underneath the table. But yeah, this place is pretty big. It's a very nice ambiance. You're sitting right in the hallway. But yeah, I mean, I think a lot of people, when they hear us say we live in an RV, they feel bad, but um, it's pretty bougie. I would not feel bad. It's bad for people who live in <laughs> Sky loves it. I think she just loves that she can be with us wherever at all times. I mean, in normal houses you can too, but she adjusted very well. And that's the house. I've been wanting to do an RV tour for a while, and then I thought, oh, well, I want to be able to show all the all the different cabinets and all the blah, 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 and uh, it was just, I kept putting it off. So I figured I'll just go ahead and do a video with like an overall tour of the inside. I think that's the most fun anyway, um, but there's so much storage in here, a lot more than I expected. Um, and then the kind of the number one things that I looked for um, or that I wanted in an RV was uh, a good kitchen, uh, a lot of storage, a lot of windows. Um, and then I wanted the interior design to be a certain vibe. And Sean and I completely agreed on the style of the interior. We love it. There's just little details like those lamps up there, um, the wood and the white countertops and the flooring. Um, those are all things that we loved um, and we knew we wanted that style. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tour. If you have any questions about RV life, we do have another video that we made, a Q&A full-time RV living video. I will link that. But if you have any other, question, other questions that weren't answered, feel free to drop them below or head over to my Instagram page, Bacon Meg and Cheese. That is where I'm most active. Yeah, we are loving the RV life and we would recommend anyone, if you have the ability to, the chance to, to go ahead and try it out. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that we will see you in the next one.